Hiya, hiya. Here we go again with a Project Sam library. This one's Orchestral Essentials. Uh, the guys at Project Sam asked me very nicely. Um, to, if I take a look at this, it's version 1.1 now. There's been quite a few additions and changes. And of course, when they said that, I said, oh, how lovely. What a nice idea. Uh, so the Orchestral Essentials is a kind of a best of compilation of a whole load of Project Sam libraries most notably Symphobia, which I have here. Symphobia 2, which I don't get because the VAT payment uh, I thought had gone out. Hadn't gone out, otherwise I was going to buy it this week. But next sale. Uh, Lumina, uh, which is Symphobia 3, is not in Orchestral Essentials. Uh, but also in our True Strikes 1 and 2, bits of that. Uh, an organ, I think. Um, piano, a few other bits and pieces. You'll see as I go through it. What that means is that you obviously have this incredibly broad cross-section. Here we are. Full orchestra, strings, brass, woodwinds, percussion, keyboards, and harp. Harp, 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 harp. Sound design, choir, bonus instruments. And that means as well with the multis, this will just be looking at the instruments. I'll have another video looking at the multis. I'm sorry, I clonked the mic. All that means is that you've got a whole lot to draw from when it comes to putting multis together, which we now have quite a lot of. Uh, and I'm a big fan of the multis. Anyway, we'll start from the beginning, which is indeed a very good place to start. Sorry about the aircon. It's the warmest day of the year here. The aircon is blaring away in the background. Uh, the full orchestra uh, will start here. Uh, there you go. It's that. And in fact, it's very similar to some of the... Here, I've got in Cubase. This is Symphobia 1's multis. Damsel's Run, it's quite similar to that. Not Cheap Fight, perhaps. Yeah, that's the, what it's closest to. So, Versus. Or, uh, it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty darn close. And I find that, you know, just... It's just great when you want that huge, massive sound. So... Right off the bat, that's just a, 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 a terrific patch, I think. I'll very quickly go through the interface thing here. We've got an Enhance button. Uh, this Is it Enhanced? No, it's not. That's not even as big as it gets. So, with, oh, I'm sorry. I keep whacking into this mic stand. Um, that's the normal one. Come on. I mean, what more do you want? Uh, that much more. And that's just whiz to the seating plan. Uh, this tells you what's actually being used. Pretty much everything. Uh, not quite. No winds. Sorry, winds. Uh, but it's got all those sections in the regular one. When you press that enhance button, which is also a key switch for right down at the end here, uh, so you can here. See that at the bottom. My bottom key. My bottom A. That's just quite handy to bring in the timps and the piano. That's what it sounds like. Um. What else have we got here? We've got round robin on and off. I don't know why you turn it off. But you can if you want to. Octaver. What am I doing here? That's it. I'm playing two notes by. And it just puts the doubling in as a simple EQ uh, and compressor, delay, filter, uh, mod. I'm not going to fiddle around with those too much. I tend not to do that on these sort of patches. Uh, but if you're into it, it's all under the hood. If I tend to add things, it's normally outboard. So there you go. There's the action. Suspense now. See how quick... I mean, look at that. That's it's streaming off SSD. My preload buffers are low. Tiny, tiny sizes. This is a really, really efficient library. So if you want it on a laptop or whatever, it's just perfect for that. Ah. Now, here's an important one. This wasn't on the last patch, but a lot of them have velocity versus mod wheel, and normally I go for mod wheel there. It's actually quite a subtle suspense. I'd go over the top if I was having, you know... Oh, good, isn't it? Isn't that? Now bring that enhance in. Oh, 
that's a synth in there actually, synth bass. As well as the cellos and double basses. Now, what more do you need if you're just creating a bit of that stuff? It's just all there, isn't it? Brill. So, really, this full orchestra section, I think of almost as... They're almost more multis, only they put them all in single patches. Uh, really terrific. Don't know where I'm going with that, but pretty big, quite similar. This is what's mod we're doing. Apologise for the poor quality of my noodling. I'm always like this. I'm terrible. I'm just going through patches. Um, or you can have it on the key. And this is very similar to Better Than Life, which, as you see, is my first patch I have in my whole template. It's not quite the same, is it? So I'm putting that in with the multis. I think there's more... Generally, there's what's in the seating here. Yeah, there's no winds here. Better than life. It's a bit more woodwindy up there. It's more brassy, epic. <sighs> I've said it before. I'll say it again. What more do you want? Dark orchestra. Oh, right. Okay. So these are, it's just every note is a completely different thing, a, sele a selection of effects. Stabs there, you've got the slower rises here in this octave by the sounds of things. It's not a comedy, this is it. Something bad's about to ham. Ah! 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 I've played it too many. Anyway, uh, you get the idea. Ah, I recognise that. It's from Symphobia 1. I think these are called... They're not all Symphobia 1, but a lot of them are. Warm sustains. Sounds nice, doesn't it? So we have the choir making an appearance here. Ah, there's no mod wheel on here, it's a bit of a shame. And the enhance, curiously, isn't the key switch for that on this. Don't know why. Yeah, I think this could benefit from having a bit of mod wheel action, really. It's a lovely tone, but then you want to just swell it a little, but uh, there we go. Long chords, majors, minors. Do we have inversions as well? Yeah, no. No, it's not complete inversions. It's lovely, but again, I just miss me swells there. I miss me swells. I do like... I'm just a CC one. A holic. You know, quite nice. I tend not to use these chord ones so much. Because, um, hey, I like playing chords. Right, okay, strings. Uh, although that said... You know, you do get, for the right kind of thing, the way it can flow, and you don't have the legato like you do in, obviously, down here, the orchestra, and you've got these legato chords, which are pretty amazing. Um, but just those basic patches, for me, are terrific. So we're off into strings. Don't 
And then again, by def it defaults to keyboard velocity. And you hear there at the, the lower dynamic, it's sort of non vibrato, isn't it? And then you hear it come in when you push that up and a bomb. And it goes pretty high. Beautiful, that's Symphobia 1. I think most of these are Symphobia 1, actually. There, I'd normally do use key velocity, so we don't have the mod option, but don't really bother me on that. Trems, the Symphobia trems are fantastic. That on there straight away. Very nice. And that is, again, these are all Symphobia 1. Great, great, great. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, and I think most of the sections have an effects section in as well. Broad variety of stuff there. Hmm. Some of these might be familiar to you. <laughs> As everyone since Zimbabwe comes has come out uses a lot of those. So use with care, like I haven't done in an awful lot of things. I that's the thing, depends on the audience, you know. I do a lot of kid stuff and I go through this and sometimes and then I think do nine-year-olds go, uh, oh, he's using Symphobia on that, isn't he? No, they don't. So it depends on what you're doing and what the audience is. If I was doing anything serious, I'd be very careful about using some of those too much. I'd want to blend them in more, disguise them, uh, do different things. But there's no doubt they get it. Oh, look where we are. We're in legato. So I didn't even look at what I was loading. Legato violins with flutes. Uh, the legato patches are all from Symphobia 2. So let's see what we have here. Let's uh, ha -ha, switch that on. You're going to go up to the G. That's a shame. It's a shame it's just not a slightly bigger range. It's a gorgeous sound, though. So it's more at the lower end of the register of the violins, this. And it's kind of, it doesn't go huge. It, But it's, if you want a sort of a gentle... carried away now uh, and so you have that and you also have legato cellos and basses I mean I'm totally happy with that really uh, that sound that is just such a to me it's almost definitive for a kind of a low Very welcome. I'm pretty sure 
either that's an, an additional layer or the whole thing is new in 1.1. That uh, Golden. Onto Brass. The Long Notes. Got to, you can't help yourself, can you? A beautiful, noble sound. Just as the business, doesn't it? And I've got a lot of other brass libraries, and they're great, and I want them. But it's amazing how often I come back to the basic Symphobia brass. Awesome! Brass staccato. Got a lovely punch. fingers. Just because we're mutes. Ah, oh, my chair keeps falling apart. My keyboard, my chair, this whole place needs sorting out. Right, here we go. Awesome. More effects. Stand my everything. I do apologise for the shabby nature of this. Okay, this is a really, really good patch. Oh, I'm playing in C minor again. Who'd have thought it? Again, it doesn't go to the FF territory, does it? But if you want that kind of, again, more noble sort of... It's seamless. And I do bang on about legato transitions and that. And I have to say in this, it's really, really good. Um, there's a mix across the library of stage and close mics, but it's blended pretty well. You obviously don't get, like with, with full Symphobia and Symphobia 2, you can choose stage or close. The new versions, 1.4 versions, you can seamlessly mix between them. You don't get that on Orchestral Essentials. Um, but they've, I think they're well chosen. They just sound pretty much right and good throughout. Solo trumpets are staying. Quite, they're into the vibrato here. And again, I'm stupidly riding the horn. Really. And there's no legato there, but that's, you get away with it for, to a large extent, don't you? Uh, we also have solo horn. These, I think, are from Orchestral Brass Classics. I forgot to say that was another library that's... Uh, incorporated here which is an older library but it's got a fantastic tone
You might well find it useful when playing like polyphonically like that. If you don't want too big a sound, you've just got one times three instruments, so that's like a, a section of three horns there. We're playing triads, and that works very nicely, I think. What I'll do is I'll load this. Let's just quickly mute that. Change this to channel one. So I'm just playing bones here. Do me old velocity thing. So what I'm going to do now. Now I'll put the two together. Again, it's pretty strong. So that is two instruments playing three notes. So that's six instruments I'm playing there. It's not too overpowering, but it's got that great sort of noble kind of quality to it. So that's an, another nice way of using these, actually thinking of in terms of small sections, really. Um, very nice, too. On to the woodwinds. Long notes. No mod wheel here. I'm curious why some of these don't have mod wheel, actually. I don't know if that's a little tweak that could be done in future, because there's definitely... Even if it's just, you know, volume curved. Uh, Woodman staccato. down and pretty much all the way up. I've got buzz on this mic as well from somewhere. Sorry, I'm just apologising all the time for various inaccuracies. Here's your effects. All very, very usable stuff. Now, legato flutes for clar clarinets. Oh, I've got my, I actually have my will on for once. Pretty seamless as far as I'm concerned. Ethnic fruit, right, these are fl so if you want a touch of Titanic, there you go. Boing! Uh, lovely. Overblown flute staccato. Flute and Piccolo runs. Feels like there's a closer mic on that, doesn't it? Uh, great, 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 great. Whizzing through these. I don't want to try your patience too much. On to percussion. right across the snare that isn't it or the side rather so you got rolls there two different snares
okay, it's a choked one. Standard, very usable. All from True Strike. Bell trees. I'm a sucker for them. Anything magical happens. Yeah, great. Um, good sort of stuff. The tips. Right, so we have we have it across two octaves here. This C1 is the same as C3. That's a really classic timp, that, I think. That reminds me of the sort of the original Star Wars timp. Um, the 77 Star Wars, I think, of uh, really great sound. Uh, OK. Well, close mics here. <laughs> so I remember that. Um, oh, this damn thing keeps getting away. That's better. Well, let's try that. Uh, Goodo, Glock. Quite magical, isn't it? Speaking of magical. Japanese kit. Maybe it's time to play with the reverb. <laughs> Not that much. Dynamics there, isn't it? Jimbies. Some heft there, isn't there? It's a good reverb, that, isn't it? Cinematic percussive effects. It's, I think this is an extension really of number one, because there's a few basic rolls in there, but there's more going on here. Oh, and, you know, metal stuff too. Hey. The old thingy bar on the tip. I don't actually have the True Strike series. They did release some freebies a while ago, and I have those, but that's it. There's some great stuff here. Marvellous. It's a really good decay. Often on tubular bells, the problem with tubular bells is they go on for about 20 minutes and you start going, ah, you know, um, but if you just play it, I've got, so I've got sustain pedal on and that's a natural kind of hand on, hand on the bell to shut it up sounds like to me without it being too over the top. Nice. New World Percussion Kit. Remind me? I have been through these. So I remember. It's 
all good stuff. That's a really broad range you've got there of tonal and non-tonal. Piano Mystique. I think it's a slightly strange name because I think, ah, that's going to be echoey and soft, but in fact it's not at all. It's quite bright, isn't it? pedal sound. That's you. Use the pedal. I am no pianist. <laughs> I failed grade five, I think it was. I think I passed grade four as a kid and failed five. And I haven't improved since those days. Other instruments I can't play are the harp at all. It sounds nice though, doesn't it? Lovely, lovely harpsichord. I'm quite a fan of this harpsichord because it's actually quite, that's quite a full sound for a harpsichord, I think. Harpsichords can be unbelievably thin sounding, which I know is kind of a point, but there's thin and there's thin. And this is actually quite, you know, it's not, there is something below 1K, isn't there? Um, and of course, if you want it thinner, Whack a low pass across it. I don't think we've got low pass filters here, have we? Low. You can hear there's quite a lot going on in the low end there for a harpsichord, which I like. Organ! Uh, yeah. the urge to get married again I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna go there I'm very happily married but you know what I mean right okay um hey we're not in church anymore or if we are it's seriously kicked off So those are those are elements of the orchestral effects into there, and some of them are more sound designy like that. You've got a cross section. Like that. Yikes! Drones and risers. Modulation for all to control filters, all right? Better do that. High pass filter going on there, isn't it? Let's get my high pass and low pass mixed up. Because I think I said low pass from it, high pass, uh, whatever. Right. A few reversey sounds. Vum. Good for your transitions, those. Ghostly winds. It's got to be done, hasn't it?
Excellent. He's not any hero. He's a stereo hero! No, oh, it's not what I expected. Oh, it is stereo, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I've got to be honest, I don't know what's heroic about that. Stereo Angel of Death or something. Anyway, there it is. They arrived. Sending orbs, I'm going through the lot. Useful stuff. This is really sort of the dystopia sections of Symphobia. It's uh, that kind of thing, isn't it? Reminds me of some of that alien stuff, actually. Nice. Uh, choir. It's just the one patch. And it's... That was me with the mod wheel. Good range on it. And a lot of these are so useful when it comes into multis as well that you have all this in the one library. Bonus instruments! Free jazz. Oh yeah, this was pretty wild. So... Look at that. So I'm just playing one note. I can't quite work out if it's just random, but based on an algorithm. So when you go... I'm rubbish at jazz, so this is meant for me, isn't it? I'm just going to play this sort of C chord. Jazz, baby! For when you have no talent. Ooh. You know, there's a playground and there's swinging swings and everything's not right and some awful thing is about to happen. Uh, yeah. Right. Moving on. Lazy strings. Now, what's going on here? You're only meant to play one note at a time. I think. No, that's rubbish. Sometimes it sort of re-triggers, doesn't it? I don't quite get that one. Swap team. It's a nice sound, but something strange with the playing. Okay, so there's a couple of arps here. Good basic solid arc. Arc? Arp. And again, you'll find that's, that features a couple of times, I think, in the multis. But there's a few arp based multis that are good to have in the arsenal.
That's good stuff. Wooden Echo. Good for sort of general sparse atmosphere building stuff. There we go. That's all the instruments. Uh, if I went through the multis now, I really would try your patience. Look, it's 41 minutes. That's quite enough. Um, overall, that's an amazing cross-section. I think if you don't have Symphobia um, in particular, this is a great way in. Um, probably, if I had Symphobia and I was torn between getting Orchestral Essentials and Symphobia 2, I probably would go for Symphobia 2 just because it's going to have that much more detail and that much broader uh, depth of what it covers. But in terms of a breadth, I mean, that's amazing uh, what we've covered here. An incredible sound. So many really usable, useful stuff. As I say, I'm a massive fan of the Maltese. If you want to hear what that's all about, uh, come and find me in the other video. Thanks for listening, everyone.